Thanks for joining me at Underwater Math. We reviewed comparing fractions already, but let's compare fractions in real-world situations. We'll start with some problems with the same denominator. Let's take a look at this problem. First, we need to read the problem. Kelly is decorating two identical posters to advertise the school play. The models are shaded to represent the fraction of each poster that Kelly has decorated so far. Which comparison of these fractions is true? What great reading! What does identical mean? And why is that important in this problem? Identical means exactly the same. It's important because two fractions have to be the same size in order to compare them. Very good! Now that we know these fractions are the same size, we can compare them. Let's look at the fraction on the left. How many parts is it divided into? One, two, three, four. Four parts. That means the denominator is four. Exactly. How about the fraction on the right? This fraction also has four parts, so it also has a denominator of four. Wonderful. These fractions have the same denominator. So now, let's look at the numerators so we can compare the fractions. How do we know what the numerator is? The numerator is the top number. It's the number of shaded parts. The fraction on the left has three shaded parts, so the numerator is three. The fraction on the right has one shaded part, so the numerator is one. Great job. So we're comparing the fractions three-fourths and one-fourth. Remember, when the denominators are the same, the larger fraction is the one with the larger numerator. So which fraction is greater? Well, three is bigger than one, so three-fourths must be greater than one-fourth. You got it. You've done a great job today. Want to pick out a new goldfish friend? I'd rather have a pet shark. Um, okay, sure. Here you go. 